Hey what's up guys, today I'll show you a science fiction film, Mortal Engines. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a masked woman scoping from the distance, and she spots something from afar. She runs down the hill and rushes towards the town. The next scene shows people from a town, and suddenly a man announces in the speaker that a predator is incoming. The people are alarmed by the announcement, so they quickly run and evacuate. The town then divides into buildings, and starts to move individually, as if it's like a vehicle. A shack with the masked woman inside couldn't start their engines, so it is left there. A huge vehicle-like city slowly approaches the shack. Inside the huge city, Mr. Valentine is observing the shack that was left in the field. The folks left from the shack struggle to start their engines, but with effort they manage to start it, and quickly drive away from the huge city. People from the huge city start to get into the front balcony and cheer. Lord Mayor appears asking Mr. Valentine what they got. Valentine responds that they are chasing a small Bavarian mining town. Lord Mayor orders them to fasten their engines, so that they can catch it. The folks from the shack decide to use their silos, and so they rush to empty it, and there they manage to create a wide gap between them and the predator city. They still continue their chase with the shack, and the shack desperately tries to get away from the bigger city. As the shack goes, pieces of scrap materials fall from it. The bigger city then takes the chance and shoots a long chain to the shack, capturing it. People from the bigger city rejoice as they're successful with their chase. The shack gets swallowed by the bigger city. The historian's apprentice, short named History Boy, rushes as he is late, so the historian scolds the apprentice, saying that he's on his third warning. Meanwhile, the people from the shack listen to the announcement that welcomes them to London, and also reminds them to bring their personal possessions. History Boy guides a woman from the elite class, short named Lady, and he shows her his 21st century collections. Lady specifically looks for the 60-minute war evidence. History Boy then shows Lady a clip on his machine, the clip shows an explosion of quantum energy on a city in the 21st century, and History Boy calls the superweapon Medusa. While History Boy is showing his collection to Lady, another apprentice historian, History Boy's rival, peeks outside the window. The rival then goes to greet the both of them, and insults History Boy, so History Boy heads out, and Lady follows him. They head to the station to go underground and find artifacts. History Boy proceeds to look for artifacts, and he grabs a toaster from the bin. Then Valentine arrives and praises History Boy for his find. On the other hand, the masked woman sees Valentine hugging his daughter, Lady. Then a worker finds a fusion inverter cell, and gives it to Valentine. History Boy adds that the thing is incredibly rare and dangerous. And then, people started fighting, so Valentine quickly calms things down and manages it. The masked woman gets near Valentine, while he is announcing, and she attempts to assassinate him. History Boy sees the masked woman, and he warns Valentine. The masked woman stabs Valentine, saying that it's for her mother. The masked woman attempts to stab him again, but History Boy stops her. Officers come, so the masked woman runs. History Boy chases after her, and the masked woman sees Valentine going down from the elevator. The masked woman has nowhere to run to, so she attempts to jump, but History Boy grabs her hand. The masked woman insists History Boy let go of her. Valentine is closing into them, when the masked woman says to History Boy to ask Valentine about her, and that he murdered his mother. Then she lets go of History Boy's hand, and she falls. History Boy asks Valentine about the masked woman's accusation of him, but Valentine denies it, and he suddenly pushes History Boy off the railing. Lady arrives along with the officers. Valentine lies to Lady that there is nothing he could do to save History Boy, as he and the masked woman were fighting, and they fell off the railings. Lady looks in the other end, she sees the apprentice engineer, and he then hides. Valentine apologizes to Lady about History Boy, and Lady asks about the masked woman. Valentine denies knowing her, saying that he's been wondering about it himself. Meanwhile, an airship looks for History Boy in the hills. When the airship leaves, the masked woman quickly goes to History Boy, and inspects his belongings. History Boy wakes up, and the masked woman leaves, so History Boy quickly gets up and follows her. The masked woman gets mad at him for ruining her plan, so History Boy asks the masked woman to help him get back to the huge city, by finding a nearby trading town. In the huge city, the Lord Mayor talks to Valentine about their current problem, and argues with him about his long-awaited project. Lady interferes after their meeting, and asks her father how he can stand the mayor. Valentine's replies that the Lord Mayor is just afraid, adding that he's building a city of the future, but Lord Mayor is still stuck in the past. Valentine then heads out, Lady tries to stop him, 
as he is still injured from the masked woman's stab, but he was hard-headed and still goes to work. On the other hand, the masked woman leads history boy to find a trading town. An old lady talks to Valentine about the masked woman's mother, saying that she could be the problem. The old lady suggests to Valentine to negotiate with a rogue bounty killer, as both of them have a common interest with the masked woman. Meanwhile, the masked woman offers a portion of her food to History Boy, and History Boy talks about how he lost his parents. He also tries to ask about her life, but she refuses and sleeps it off. When she wakes up, she looks for History Boy, and she hears him shouting for help, and so she quickly rushes to him. History Boy thought he saw a trading town, but turns out it's a Southeast. They run desperately as the Southeast shoot them with steel arrows. History Boy asks what Southeast are, and the masked woman responds that they are scavengers hunting them. The masked woman quickly helps History Boy, but History Boy can't follow. The Southeys close into History Boy, but surprisingly, he falls in a pit underground. A man then asks if he's alright, and he sees the masked woman in front of him. The man's wife offers them tea, History Boy drinks and quickly spits it, after knowing it came from the sewage. Going back, Lady tries to talk with the apprentice engineer about the masked woman, and he drags Lady to a corner, and says that Lady's father lies to a lot of people. Lady couldn't comprehend, and she adds that she just wants to know the truth. He then says to Lady that her father pushed History Boy out of the city. He also adds that her father's project is a lie, and is actually a cover-up for what they're truly building inside. Meanwhile, History Boy blames himself for all that's happening and apologizes. The masked woman then tells the story about her parents, saying that she was eight when her mother died. Her mother was an archaeologist who loves to dig up the past, and Valentine used to visit them a lot. But one day, everything changed, when the masked woman's mother discovered something that Valentine wanted. Valentine tried to take it from her, but the masked woman's mother resisted, and thus she was killed by Valentine. Meanwhile, Valentine talks to the rogue killer about the masked woman, and he asks what he'll do if he finds the masked woman. The killer answers that he'll kill her because she broke her promise, so Valentine sets the rogue killer free. The masked woman wakes up, and History Boy tries to open the door, but they are locked. So, they try to escape from the hole on the floor, but the masked woman can't because she is injured. The masked woman encourages History Boy to escape, but History Boy refuses to leave her. A moment later, three handcuffed men enter the room, and they arrive at the market. The masked woman is brought up to the stage, and is being bid by the crowd. A woman named Fang, bids for the masked woman, and she slowly approaches the stage, and shoots the host. The rogue killer arrives, so they quickly run and climb up a vehicle while Fang is still fighting. The killer goes after them, but fortunately, Fang manages to arrive on time, the masked woman climbs up Fang's airship. History Boy almost got left, but the masked woman throws down a rope. History Boy climbs, and Killer also grabs the rope. So the masked woman throws out a knife to History Boy. He manages to catch the knife, and cut the rope off before Killer can get to him. The masked woman asks Fang where she will take them. Fang tells them to sit and treats the masked woman's injury. Fang then says that after the masked woman's mother died, she looked for her. Fang wondered how an eight-year-old girl survived all alone in the outlands. Right then, History Boy interferes with their conversation, and asks the masked woman if she was raised by Killer. The masked woman says that the killer saved her life, and walks out. Valentine arrives back in the huge city, and History Boy's rival calls out to him. Valentine tries to ignore him, but the rival offers an old tech which piques his interest. On the other hand, History Boy goes to comfort the masked woman. The masked woman proceeds to talk about how Killer saved his life, and that she made a promise that she will become like him. History Boy then asks why she left. She says six months ago, the huge city came across their land, and Valentine came within her reach. History Boy holds her hand, and he tries to comfort her, but she leaves. On the other hand, Lady leads the apprentice engineer to the cat's cradle, and as they talk, they come across the historian. The historian opens the door to the cat's cradle, so Lady and the engineer enter. The historian warns them, and reminds them to be careful, and closes the door. Meanwhile, History Boy, Fang, and the masked woman arrive at the air haven. When they get out of the airship, a man leads them. On the other hand, Valentine and the old lady ready their plan. Lord Mayor arrives in the control room, and asks why they're altering courses. A worker responds that they're executing the new order. Meanwhile, the killer catches up and arrives at Air Haven. Fangs asks the masked woman where the thing that was given by her mother is. History Boy also gets interrogated, and she asks what they're building inside the church. History Boy suddenly remembers something about a fusion inverter, and he draws a symbol to help the masked woman to remember what they took from her mother. 
History Boy says that they found a computer core, the control system of a quantum energy weapon. At the same time, Valentine successfully activates the Medusa. Meanwhile, Lady and the engineer witness Valentine's sketchy behavior. The Lord Mayor arrives inside the church and confronts Valentine. He orders to shut the Medusa down, but Valentine shoots the Lord Mayor. Lady tries to go back to her father, but the engineer stops her. As Fang and the others discuss their plan, the power suddenly goes out, and the killer arrives. They try to shoot the killer, but it doesn't affect him, and the masked woman is trying to stop them. Part of the airhaven explodes, so Fang orders them to quickly run towards the Jenny while they fight the killer. The man who leads them throws a bomb at the killer, causing him to fall off the airhaven. They then quickly move to evacuate, but the killer manages to go back to the airhaven. The killer appears in front of the masked woman, and History Boy attempts to smash the killer with a metal pipe. But he gets smashed by the killer instead. The killer tries to kill him, but the masked woman stops him. Suddenly, the killer backs off while talking to the masked woman, and he asks if she loves History Boy. The masked woman goes silent, so the killer returns a necklace to the masked woman, and he says he releases her from the promise. Right after that the killer collapses. Fang arrives and helps the masked woman and History Boy up to the Jenny. The killer is having a flashback of his memories with the masked woman, and some memories of his past family. The airhaven then collapses to the ground. Valentine broadcasts in the huge city, about his plan to set a course in Shan Guo. History Boy wakes up, as they arrive at Shan Guo. They rush to go and meet with the governor. Fang suggests launching the fleet as the huge city is approaching. History Boy tries to interfere, because they will kill all the innocent lives in the huge city. Still, the governor launches the fleet. The huge city slowly approaches the wall, so the fleet immediately prepares. The masked woman calls out to History Boy, but she stops. The ship is launched to the air, while Valentine also readies the Medusa. The masked woman opens her necklace, and discovers the crash drive with the same symbol of what Valentine stole from her mother. So, she rushes to find History Boy, and shows him the crash drive. Meanwhile, Medusa prepares to fire, so the people inside the walls evacuate. Valentine signals to fire the Medusa, damaging the walls of Shan Guo. The masked woman tells Fang that they should go to the huge city to shut the Medusa down. The Medusa fires again, so they pull up higher. The Medusa's force shatters the aircraft's windows, and the Medusa recharges again. An allied aviator couldn't dodge the firings, so his aircraft crashes into the huge city, and he dies. Another heavily damaged aircraft crashes to their last target. Their fleet is slowly losing except for Fang. The masked woman goes out of the aircraft, and heads to the church. Fang lands, and History Boy pilots the aircraft for her. The masked woman manages to get inside the church, and Fang fights with Valentine. Meanwhile, the masked woman attempts to stop the next firing of Medusa. Valentine stabs Fang, but the masked woman successfully terminates the Medusa. Fang tells the masked woman to go, so she rushes to get out of the church. Eventually, Fang falls and dies. Lady confronts her father, asking how many lives he has taken. Valentine tries to convince his daughter to come with him, but Lady refuses and runs off. Lady goes to the control room, and History Boy manages to contact her. History Boy then asks Lady a favor. Meanwhile, the masked woman stops Valentine from fleeing. History Boy goes inside the huge city, and destroys the engines. The masked woman grabs a knife, and dashes it to Valentine's face. The masked woman jumps across to the Jenny, and History Boy targets Valentine's aircraft. The aircraft explodes and crashes with Valentine inside. He manages to survive that, but the huge city runs over him. The huge city stops before it could totally destroy the wall. The governor of Shan Guo welcomes Lady and the people of the huge city. The masked woman hugs History Boy, and they savor their time inside the Jenny. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.